Well, just to finish up, yesterday we explained that China has banned the export of gallium and germanium to the United States. These are key metals in the development of super-fast computer chips, in weaponry and in solar panels. Well, China has a dominant position in this strategic critical mineral with 95% of the global supply. But it could have been so different. You see, once upon a time, it was Australia that was the world's biggest supplier of gallium. The metal, it's unusual. It has a melting point of around 27 degrees Celsius. It's not found in typical mineral deposits. Most of it is produced as a byproduct when turning bauxite into alumina. And guess who's the biggest source of bauxite in the world? That would be us, Australia. Back in the late 1980s, as bauxite was booming in Queensland, and especially in WA, a French government-controlled company set up the world's biggest gallium plant alongside Alcoa's alumina facility at Pinjara, around 120 k's south of Perth. It ran into problems with the market, but especially with the WA Environmental Protection Authority, unhappy with the long-term storage of the waste, some of which is radioactive. So, just a couple of years ago, after it got going, the gallium plant there was shut down. It's still there. It's still shut down. It's sat there ever since. Every now and again, there's been an idea to try and get it up and going again, but that's a big ask after more than 30 years. The last big idea for that site was a couple of years ago when it was suggested it should be used as a mega base for the WA Rural Fire Service. Now the world is screaming for gallium to break China's grip and Australia should be the natural supplier. But here, as we know only too well, Often, we're much better at creating problems than solving them.